corner, Kapanen, plastered against the wall by Miller, rims it over to the near side, right point, Aston Reese plays it to the open far wall, Kapanen leaves it far point, Pedersen fakes the shot, to the left hash, now fires, didn't get through, Pedersen tracks it down, dished it up top, now right circle, Kapanen shoots and swing and a glove save as he got a good look at it and holds. Fans Geico, you can save hundreds on car insurance and a whole lot more. Faceoff will be in the Bruins end. Jeremy Swayman. Let's go Bruins. Let's go Bruins. Let's go Bruins. Can you guys see me now? What's going on? All right, I'm ch I'm testing again today, so I hope you guys are in the chat. It's weird, I don't see the chat. I thought I was supposed to see the chat. Dude, I am swear to God, I'm going to flip out on these programs. I swear that I'm supposed to see the chat right now, and I don't see you guys. But yet I saw you guys a minute ago when I was up in the video screen upstairs, so I have no idea what's up. If this doesn't work, I'm going to go move into the house. My bad. Yeah, I just saw you guys. You know what's weird is um, I tried something new. Instead of going live uh, directly from the phone, what I did was I tapped into the device in the house and did the use the RTMP file to go live. So it's weird that I can't see the chat, but maybe I can click over to YouTube and, and then watch it on YouTube while this is running in the background. That may be something I can do. But if you guys want to help out, hit the like button. I don't know. Share the stream out everywhere and let everybody know. The whole goal of this, though, was to react to you guys live, though, so I'm still trying to work on the, the phone, because um, you know how Streamlabs uh, just basically crapped out and doesn't work anymore, so I'm using the other app now. Um, I mean, I use both still, but I'm just trying to check out theirs, and I don't see why. I don't know what that is, a test, test dono or something? I don't know, but yeah, I don't see you guys in the chat because because I use the custom RTMP, I don't see you in the chat. All right, let me see if I can switch over. If anybody wants to test the $5 Super Chat, see if that pops up, Let, uh, feel free to do that. Um, if you want to or can, uh, I'd love to see if it works. I don't know if it will, but so far this ain't working worth the shit. I don't know what's going on. So I'm just going to sip this coffee for a second and think about what I should do next. Hmm... I hope everybody's well. Um, I got a fucking a bug flew into my ear a minute ago, man. I swear to God, it's in there still. And like one of those little damn bugs, you're like and you're like ah, and you don't know if it like got out of your ear or if it took off. You know. I put on my hat. This is the worst hat I have. Look at this thing. This is permanently dyed yellow. Just came out of the washer and it's like yellow white, and then this green stain will never go away. This is my painter hat. Whenever I'm painting in the house, which I'm doing today, um, I just got home a little bit ago. The schedule's been all over the place, but I um, just got home a little bit ago, started painting. I don't know. Let me go over to YouTube and see if this, this stays in the background. Let me see if you guys are on. Okay, you guys can still see me, I guess. All right, sweet. This stays in the background. All right, cool. See. So uh, now I'm on YouTube. And maybe I can see you guys now. Okay, there we go. All right, so now I'm just on YouTube. Droopy hat. What's going on, uh, Relic? How you doing, man? Let's see if uh, let's see if I can see the chat constantly or if it disappears. I don't know. I can't tell. Let you me guys just... are on. Okay, you guys can still see. All me. All right, now I can hear myself. All now right, everybody can hear me. Let me turn me all the way down. What's going on, Orlo Myers? Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm literally... So I've got the actual YouTube up, and I'm watching the actual YouTube chat in order to see you guys while I'm streaming myself in the background, apparently. So, I don't know. Anyway, whatever. That's bizarre. But hey, at least it works for now, you know what I mean? But at least now I know if I ever do the RTMP custom technical babble bullshit you don't care about... That, I won't see the chat, so that's good to know. Orlo, what's going on, man? Good afternoon, Sandman Sizzle. How are you guys? What's up to the chat? What's up, Benetto? What's up, Truth Seeker? Keep it hard, brother. Um, what up, Sandman Sizzle? Yeah, I'm having some, I'm having some Dunkachino, baby. 
DMX funeral is on live. Really, Janelle? Jesus. I felt like it, it almost... The party was yesterday, man, with the with the with the monster truck. We played the monster truck on Corrupted Podcast last night. I think we might have played it live on the free pre-show before for the UFC post-show too. Um, because we're going to be covering a lot more UFC. Obviously, we've been. I mean, I've been u- doing UFC for eight years now, but it's been. It's always very, you know. You know, it's always very, you know. We're not really breaking down UFC much. We're just kind of reacting to it and talking about it. You know, there's a lot of other people that can do that. I might watch Rebellion tonight, Zach. I'm not sure yet. You know what I mean? I'm not not 100% yet on that. What up, Outlaws? I'm not going to end the show if you don't donate, man. But it would be cool if you donated because uh, I can test the donation alerts. So that would be kind of cool if you donated. But we're going to obviously block that. We'll see you, Scott. can't believe the broken leg what up crazy blade yeah dude that was gross so apparently i had it backwards because i told leah i was like hey leah you got to check this out this guy's fucking leg wrapped around this other guy's leg and i guess leah was like i hate that shit i don't want to see that and i'm like oh really i swear to god that you love that stuff like she always like i swear like when she's like she watches shows where like people get destroyed on like half pipes or whatever you know, or where, like, someone wrecks themselves and is dead, and she's like, oh, this is crazy. I swear to God, she's into all that stuff. I have no idea what the hell she's talking about, but I guess she's not into that. You know, I don't know. But uh, Moro will be on tonight, so that's badass. I'm pretty fired up about that. Yeah, dude, this thing is so broken. You know, Streamlabs used to have a great phone app where you just went live from your phone, and it was great. But now it doesn't work the same, and it's all broken and fucked up. Holy shit, what up, Denise? And um, on top of that, you know, it doesn't let me see the chat, so I have to, I'm dueling on my on my video on my phone right now, which is pretty crazy. Also pretty impressive. The technology that we have to be able to do this where I'm watching my stream on YouTube while streaming from an app, I mean, that shit's fucking crazy. The fact that I'm able to do that, I mean, dude, that's crazy. But it's also it also sucks that for the last five years, I've been able to stream from my phone with alerts, where all the donation alerts would pop up and everything, and yet now it's all broken and fucked up, and it's all confusing, so I don't understand that, um, the Bruins are on, Denise is here, Asuka SK is here, Chris Skywalker's wet, how you doing, man, um, thanks to everybody who signed up last night, by the way, we are, uh, we're one away, one patron away from 300 patrons now, uh, so thanks to everybody who checked out uh, Corrupted last night. Red Sox winning again today. Yeah, I mean, we're lucky the Red Sox are playing today with this rain and shit, you know? Because it's bad. It was ugly out today. Um, I have to bring out all this trash. Anybody, if you guys obviously know, my mother moved out of her house. She sold her house. So I have a lot of her stuff and my stuff that I didn't want, but she was storing for me. And I have it all sitting in my place. And so my house is a wreck, you know? Uh, the fucking whole, around the whole house is a wreck because there's just trash everywhere and the trash guy comes Tuesday, but tomorrow I work from, I work from about eight o'clock to seven o'clock, well, six o'clock, but I get, oh shit, no, I work till seven o'clock, but I won't be home till eight o'clock. So there's no way I'm going to have time tomorrow to like, you know, unless I want to work at night, you know, cause there'll be raw will be on. So I'll be getting up, going to work getting to work at 9, and then I won't be home until 8 p.m. after I drive, because it's an hour drive to work, it's an hour drive, so it's like, I have no time to do it tomorrow, so I've got to do it today, I've got, you know, I've just got to do it today, so I have to get the toilets that were that were taken out of the house, uh, uninstalled, that the guy never took away, they were like, oh yeah, we take the toilets with us, and then they didn't, and they were like, when, we're, when we come back the next time, we'll, we'll take them. Then they never came back the next time. So I've still got the toilet sitting on the side porch of the house, which if my neighbor ever looks out their window, all they see is my porch and toilets for like the last three months. Um, And the trash out here is weird, so you can't bring it to any of the trash areas. I don't know. So you really... I've got the trash guy coming um, uh, Tuesday. So Tuesday, Tuesday, I'm... Looks like I'm going to be off Tuesdays, but I'm not, uh, it's kind of changed a bunch, so I'm not really sure, but anyway, I'm babbling on about what the fuck I'm doing, so that's what I'm doing today. Uh, Mark Carano's ex-wife says, you know, 
that he, uh, you know, fucking stole the belts. He, he steals, like, rare belts from the WWE and was, like, <laughs> keeping them under a bed somewhere or whatever, which he probably bragged to her about. And now she's telling on him or whatever. So uh, that's just crazy. Put them in the trash cans. Yeah, I mean, with five people in a house and three kids, we had to get two trash cans and two recycling bins. So, like, we've already got a ton of shit. Dude, there are so many fucking mosquitoes, I think, or little bugs everywhere, little gnats, because of the rain or whatever. How are you, Denise? It's really good to see you. That's awesome. What's been up? That's crazy. Crazy to see you. That's why you break them up. Yeah, that's a good point. I could break them all up. I mean, I've been breaking up boxes for so long, dude. I've got so many boxes. So, there's a lot of boxes to break up and throw out. Uh, I'm going to do that. By the way, anybody, how many people are in here, by the way? How many people got the alert to this? Let me know if you can, because I can't see, because I've got two different apps open, and neither one of them are giving me the information. I uh, heard that Mark Carano might get rehired by WWE. <laughs> I mean, I could see them bringing Mark Carano back. I mean, they might want to investigate that belt shit, though. You know what I mean? Because that's kind of like, um, you know, it reminds me of what Earl Hebner did with his brother, right? They were selling, like, rip-off WWE t-shirts or whatever. It was my neighbor with the fucking Mustang. You got the alert. Oh, there's a little under 100? Okay. Uh, Jake's all right. He's still sore and tired and work and doing stuff, so he's he's okay. If I don't say anything about him, it's usually good, right? Because you'll know if something's wrong, because I'll tell everybody. I mean, like, if he wants me to. Uh, the the uh, tree that Leah loves is fully bloomed. It's I think it's a it's a weeping willow type of tree, but it's not. It's a maybe a Japanese cherry willow or something. Anybody know? I don't know anything about it. You know, let me know if uh, if you guys know about what the fuck those things are. But it's some kind of like weeping willow Japanese cherry tree. I don't know. It's not cherry, but the red, it's like a red strawberry cherry. I don't know. It's weird. It's like, it looks very oriental. Um, or very, um, I don't know. I can't really explain it. But I, I put a picture out the other day and it's really fully bloomed right now. And unfortunately, it's cold and rainy now because. And. Then there's the tree in fr the front of the house that every year, the last couple of years, you guys know about this. The first year we moved in here, two and a half years ago, whatever it was, you remember the first um, summer when it was July, I just, I saw the, the tree in our front yard, like blooms, beautiful, these beautiful white flowers, like all over it, it's amazing looking. And it only lasts for about, for about two days to a week. And so it's this really short window when you can really, uh, when it just looks beautiful, like it's crazy. I mean, it looks all right the rest of the year. It's like, all right, green and yellow and whatever. But there's this period of time for about five days during, I think June or July. You'd have to go on my Instagram to see it. And it's, I took a picture of it the first year. We we're at the, up the neighbor's house at the kid's house up the street where my, all our kids are playing and playing Nerf guns and they're having a blast. Of course, now the neighbors moved out, so the kids are gone. Then the other neighbors moved out, so their kids are gone. So now the neighborhood is quiet. Like, my whole street is quiet now. First year we moved in here, all the kids in that house and all the kids in that house were coming out, and my kids are out, and they were all always like, let's go, oh my God. And now they both moved out so uh, to get away from the Cronins. So now it's just quiet outside, unless my kids are playing with each other. Man, there are fucking gnats everywhere out here. What is going on, bro? Like, there are gnats everywhere. It's got to be the water. Well, that's another reason, too, is I got to get the trash out. Once I get all the trash out on Tuesday, I'm going to have the people come and spray, you know what I mean? I don't normally do a mosquito spray because I hate that shit, but I think we need a little spray, like, around, you know? And I think now would be a good time to do it. Before it gets really nice and we're outside all the time. I hate sprays normally. You know, I really don't like that shit, but... You know, I just think it has to be done or whatever. What up, Jim? How you doing, man? Nobody, hey, by the way, um, if you guys... I don't know if anybody has been donating, but if you donate, don't listen to Nightbot. Don't use Streamlabs because the alerts aren't working on this phone right now. They only work if you use the link that I think I put below, Stream Elements. 
So only do that or super chat. Either way, just don't use the um, don't use the perfect sparrow link because it won't pop up. Just in case anybody goes to do that. Uh, but super chats will work. I'll read super chats and all that stuff. Uh, Japanese willow tree. Yeah, no name needed. I don't know. I think that's what it is. Japanese willow or cherry willow or something. Cherry Japanese. I'm not sure. Um, maybe, uh, maybe you know. What up, Mr. Pico? Thank you for becoming a patron the other day, by the way. Uh, Stan said, Chris Weidman breaking his leg. I'm going to try to read the chat for the people that obviously, you know what I mean? We don't, I'm going to try to read your comments, even if it's not a donation. I just, um, I'm trying to read you guys' stuff. Burn everything, even the bodies. What up, Big Merc? What up, Blizz? Chris Weidman breaking his leg was gnarly. Dude, it was awful. I, I, I sort of, so I, I saw it, but like I look away every time, so I don't 100% see it. Okay, so the alerts aren't popping up for the super chat for some reason. I thought we would definitely see the alert pop up. I don't see it popping up, but that's okay. I see, I do see the super chat though. I don't know why the alert didn't pop up for us. Um, but yo, Todd Pelkey, what's up, man? Todd didn't even ask a question. He just dropped the super chat. Thank you, Todd. Oh, I know why it might not have popped up because I think it only pops up if it's five bucks. I don't know why. I've only. It, it took me 20 minutes to program one donation into this new system. This company is, uh, app is from, you know, they're from somewhere way over in the Middle East. So to get a translator, to, to get everything synced up, it takes a little while for me to get the translator. Um, but they do give me a translator. And then the other guy speaks pretty good English. So we, we got along pretty well the other day. I was able to understand what he was saying. And he was really helpful. Um, so shout out to him. Um, he's, I think he's from Egypt. But uh, he was he was really good, and they got a good app. I, I really love it. And this is a beta program. They're not, and they're being they're nice enough to you know they've been paying me for not a lot, but I mean you know they give me a couple bucks to test it for the last year now, and I, it's really been not very good each time, you know. But it, it is good and it's amazing. It just isn't crisp. Obviously, I can't you know things are not working the right way. Everything's a mess. But so I just give them my feedback. You know, it's not a whole lot. You know, it's only a, it's like a hundred bucks or something like that. That's not, you know, for the, hey, to test it out for a year, you know, so it's been a, a headache. I told them that they're working on it though. Hopefully, hopefully uh, in the next year or so, it will become very big and popular and that'd be cool. Uh, but, um, but Todd, man, thank you for the four ninety nine, dude. Must be an iPhone. What up, Todd? You want to see my, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, just gave it a shot with stream elements link below. Okay, Sir Huggingtons. Thank you. We'll see if... It, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, maybe it's not working because it would have popped up, right? Oh, you know what? Let me switch over and let me see if, if I switch over. Maybe if I switch over, will it will it be there then? You know what I mean? Hold on a minute. All right. Let's see. Let's see if I switch over if it's there. Um, okay, let's see, no, it's not there, it's, you know why it's not there, because I made a custom RTMP or whatever, that's why it's not here, if I had gone live from my generic name thing, then it would have been here, but because, uh, because I'm not live from that, they're not popping up, so I really appreciate that effort to do that, man. Thank you. I'm sorry that it didn't work. Next time it will work, I believe. Um, but it's not working this time, so... Shit, man, that sucks. Just use Super Chats, guys, then. Sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. This is like the fifth time we've tried this on the new thing, and it never works. Um, but yeah, just use Super Chats so I can see them at least. It was worth a shot, though, you know? Why not? But yeah, dude, if this guy really had belts, if Mark Carano really has fucking belts under his bed, like, somewhere, like, what belts does he have, apparently they're rare ones or something, like, what, belts that wrestlers really wore, you know, that's crazy, like, what the fuck, but yeah, it reminds me of Earl Hebner and his brother, um, you know, and the rumor is, you know, the guy was kind of going to be fired anyway, and then this was just sort of a, 
You know, there was something recently where, where they put two and two together about somebody being fired now, and I can't fucking remember, and it's driving me nuts. If, if anybody knows what I'm talking about, this is super vague, so you may not know what I'm talking about. But basically, it was something like, fuck, man, it was like, oh, I know what it was, it was Macho Man. So more evidence came out to the, uh, sort of the idea that, um, this idea that, um, you know, uh, he had been with Stephanie or whatever. And, um, you know, uh, that's why Macho Man was always, like, left out of everything and, and all these different other things because he actually, the, the rumors were true about, uh, Stephanie and all the, oh, there's my neighbors. I know them. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, guys. <laughs> I love those guys. Those kids are funny. Oh man, Bre Brenna would be so mad that they walked by and she wasn't out here to wave to them. I gotta go over to them and say hi um, soon, because they are—they're actually like across the street from us, uh, across the other street, and we can see them playing in their backyard when we're in our backyard. And the kids love their kids and everything. Um, so there, they are. There are some families left. The little girl was looking for me uh, and Brenna, but like I don't want to get out and be like I'm streaming right now. You know what I do now? Because it used to be that when I would stream, people would be like, why is this guy watching himself on his uh, camera or whatever? And now it's like, now it's like everyone's so COVID, used to COVID stuff that I can just be like, oh yeah, I'm working. And I am kind of working, right? Because my, you know what I mean? Doing these, doing my show and doing everything is income and it's my, my, my job. Uh, so technically I'm working. So I can just be like, oh yeah, I'm working. I don't know. Uh, Stephanie's virginity on WWE Treasures. Yeah, I mean, like, it really starts to make sense why Macho Man was so hidden. You know what I mean? And they and they said that it was always, like, why was Macho Man on commentary? It didn't make any sense and he wanted to wrestle. And, you know what I mean? It, it does make sense that if he did something weird with Steph, you know, maybe that's why Vince wanted to keep him close to himself. I don't know. Um, very strange. Or maybe Vince wanted to punish him, or maybe he was... I don't, I don't know, man, but it does, it, it is weird, it is weird, everything that went down with Macho Man, it never made sense, but Macho Man really was, it was very similar to Samoa Joe, right, you're like, why is Samoa Joe on commentary, why isn't Samoa Joe wrestling, you know, and Macho Man was very similar, it was like, dude, why is Macho Man doing commentary, I mean, he was hurt for a little bit, and there was something going on, but then it was like, he was ready to get back, and I mean, I think, I guess Vince valued him on commentary more because he had, you know, I don't know, he had a presence on commentary that Vince needed, and, but I always felt like, especially, and maybe they were, like, trying to put over Bret Hart so much, but I always felt like, um, dude, there are squirrels and fucking chipmunks just coming up to my house, like, yo, let's just hang out on the porch, like, this is cool. Dude, what the fuck, bro? Dude, fuck these guys, get the fuck off my, they're all over my house, bro. Bro, they're on my house, they're on the roof, they're climbing around on the fucking everything, like, they think it's just a fucking, like, I'm gonna fucking take you out, squirrel, man, what the fuck, get off my shit, motherfucker, god damn it, all, because, you know, this is all the wood is on the ground, because I was taking apart all the shit around the house, and they think it's just like a free-for-all now, they're like, oh yeah, let's just fucking, we can hide under this wood and grab all this shit over here, cool. It's like, fuck you, dude. But the minute I get the trash out on Tuesday, I'm going to be able to have all this... Anything that's left put in the shed. So I'm pretty pumped up about putting shit in the shed. Anyway, the ADD's taking over, man. Fucking squirrel. Let me go back in the donate... Uh, the fucking chat. Uh, yeah, Elements isn't working, Randy Viper. Um, neither is Labs. Don't use any of the donation links down below. Don't use any of them. They're not working. Um... Sorry, sorry to keep repeating this. Yeah, don't you... The, I was supposed to have them set up, but I fucked something up. I did something wrong in the programming. Do not use any of the links down below or the link to donate. Don't use any of that stuff. If you want to donate, use the Super Chat, okay? Um, I appreciate it, man. If you did donate and it didn't pop up, obviously, I'm going to either play them a little bit later or I will play them Monday or I'll refund them. Uh, whatever you want, just let me know. Um, but if you do want to support the channel and me and whatever else, just use Super Chats now. Only use Super Chat. 
Sorry, ma'am. I was supposed to have it set up, but it's all fucked up. It took me an hour to do this wrong, so I feel like a fucking asshole, especially when this is like precious time off today. The only reason why I'm doing this right now is because Finn fell asleep inside. I took Brenna to her friend's house, and um, Leah's uh, taking a nap, and you know, Gavin's in the middle of some tournament on fucking Xbox or whatever, and he's got schoolwork to do, so like, there's no one around, so I have my own time right now, so this is the time I chose, and I already wasted an hour, and it didn't even work, and now we're, now we're live, yeah, I can't believe Masvidal got fucked like that, dude, he was being a cocky prick, he was like, ooh, look at me, you want some of this, you want some of this, and fucking, like, literally, like, ten seconds after he was like, hoo, 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 like, he fucking, boom, Usman just fucked him up, or whatever, it was crazy, Joe, did you get rid of that tree in the back, yes, I did, Denise, we got rid of the tree, absolutely, it was, uh, it was, uh, how much was it? I don't remember. My mother, my, uh, my mother ended up, uh, saying, like, we, we were gonna get rid of it anyway, but then we were like, nah, we'll wait, and we'll get rid of it someday when we have some more money, and, um, my mother got some bonus at work, and she was like, I'll pay for you to get rid of that tree, and we were like, are you sure? Like, what the fuck? Are you, like, I, what? And my mom was like, yeah, yeah, well, I'll pay for the tree. She's like, what the hell else am I going to do with the money? And I'm like, I mean, if you want to. So, yeah, it was a year ago almost. It, the, we got rid of the tree almost a year ago, Denise. Um, in fact, it was about this. Yeah, it was about this time uh, last year that we got rid of. We got an April last year. It's been a year. Um, they cut down the tree. It feels like it was yesterday. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Because COVID, it just flew by. Um. But yeah, you, that tree was scary, man. I I kind of miss it though. Like, you know what I mean? I miss seeing the tree and the smell and the pine smell and I mean, it smelled like camping. My backyard always smelled like camping. And now it doesn't smell like camping anymore. So I mean, it does a little bit, but it's like it's really smelled like camping in the backyard. But um so yeah, it was kind of sad to lose that tree. Um but it was super dangerous, so it had to go. Maybe nothing would have happened ever, you know, I mean, like, if I had a crystal ball and the crystal ball said, you know, I guarantee you in the next 50 years, this tree will not come down from anything, hurricane, nothing, it won't come down, don't worry about it, no branches will fall on your kids or you, uh, I would have kept it then, I would have said, okay, I'm not worried, I know it's not going to fall down, cool, but just the idea that it could fall down, it was like, alright, let's get rid of this, and, and you know how it was. And a, and a similar tree fell down on the neighbor's house right over, uh, right across the street, so, it's like, it was like an omen when that fucking tree fell down, so I, I called my mom, I was like, yeah, alright, I'll take your money, you, you can pay for the tree to come down, alright, let's get rid of the tree. I mean, I could have paid for one of them to come down, but I didn't really want to, but when mom offered up, uh, four grand, I was like, alright. Yeah, better safe than sorry. It was four thousand dollars I would have cut the trees down. But that's on mom, so thanks mom. Sammy Bear King, what's going on? Juan Espinosa, what's up, buddy? Mr. Pico, thanks again for becoming a patron, Mr. Pico. Cheers, motherfucker. I might, Jeff, I don't know. If I get to watch it, I'll go live for it. Jeff, I will go live for it if I can. Uh, what up, Janelle? What did Janelle say? Uh, I seen the previews to Wipeout. Looks like it hurts. Sell that tree to RVD. Let me go back and see some of the comments. Um, oh, yeah, Todd Pelkey. Thanks for that super chat earlier, man. My neighborhood has been more quiet over the years. Hardly any families with kids. Thanks, Stan. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird, man. You know, a lot of these people here are in the... A lot of the people here are sort of in the um, mode of uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, like, like their kids are f like my age and their kids bought a house somewhere and they're still here. So a lot of the people here are like in their 50s and 60s and their kids did, you know, just moved out a little while back and are buying houses. So... That's what a lot of the neighborhood is. I would say every street on my neighborhood has one or two fa kids, you know, families with one or two kids, you know. So, but it was 
but just a couple of years ago when we first moved in, our street had four sets of kids, and some of the other streets had two and three, and now it's like one, two, one, one. Like every street, there's a kid that lives on, you know, there's a there's a kid under eighteen. Oh, this all right. There's kids under twelve on every street, but there's only one or two, you know, in the same house. There's no. Like, there were, like, every like three houses on every street with kids. Now it's like there's, like, one. You know, we're here, and then way at the end of our street, there's one. And then there's one over there, one over there, and then there's one down there, and there's two down here. Which is a lot, but it's not... It was way more before. There were just kids fucking everywhere. And that's when we first moved in. And five families have moved out since we moved in. Crazy. And they had kids, so... We went from, like, 15 houses with kids in a very close vicinity to, like, fucking five or six. It's fucking weird, I don't know. It pisses me off. <clears throat> because where we came from, too, there was kids everywhere. You know, I mean, you guys know where I used to live. I was in the city. So, like, it was, like, the whole street, kids, 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 kids. So my kids always had people to, like, hey, let's go out and do this. Oh, cool. Mickey James virtue signal was a WrestleMania moment. Oh, her V signal. I see what you're saying now. Yeah, Mickey James actually got people fired, man. She's like, you, you think this is okay? Well, now you're fired, motherfucker. I scared them away. I think we did scare them away. I mean, I mean, let's be honest. The Cronins moved in and people got scared. Goes back to Scott's uh, audio clip or whatever. The neighbor, he's moving in. Matthew Biggs, you want some? You want some big ones, Matthew? Yeah, I'm probably going to start freaking out any minute. I'm probably going to start getting anxiety because I'm drinking too much of this coffee. So I'll probably start freaking out any minute, yeah. So get ready for that. Red Sox win. Nice. Bruins are playing now, too. Joe, do you listen to epic music? What's that? What's epic music? I don't even know what that is. Is Wait, is this real? Mark Carano stole WWE belts? Yeah, allegedly. Allegedly... Mark Carano's ex-wife is on Twitter being like, hey, WWE, hey, Stephanie McMahon, hey, Triple H, check his second vacation home or something under the master bedroom bed. That's where he keeps all the WWE titles that he steals uh, from, uh, that he's stolen over the years or something or other. And I'm like, what the fuck? I read that on Twitter and people were, re you know, it was blowing up on Twitter the other day, and I was like, what the fuck, and we really never talked about it, so, like, you know, I just, I don't know, man, oh, thanks, thanks, man, Amazon's here, he stole the European title, <laughs> he probably did, he probably did, thanks, man, you too, man, Hey, I already have a good one. Now I'm looking for a longer one. Like orchestra, Joe, and rock. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, like, like, yeah, I like stuff like that. Like when Metallica did the symphony shit. I mean, I like the Halo theme, and that's pretty orchestral, although it was originally written kind of like electronic, so. Yeah, on, my, on the infotainment center in, in the uh, Mazda, I'm looking at the uh, the Bruins, so I see it going on, you know. Uh, Vivian cheated on, what? Uh, Slim Shady? I don't know what you're talking about. Fuck. I lost what you're talking about. His wife is shady. Yeah, I mean, his wife is shady. I mean, apparently that's his ex-wife. She's shady too, man. Uh, the garbage bag thing is no big deal. Yeah, see, I don't, here's what I don't understand about the garbage bag thing, right? About the garbage bag thing, if, if you send someone's clothes and belongings back in a brown box, there's a possibility they could get damaged by water or in transit, whatever. So putting a garbage bag over it or putting them in a garbage bag keeps them safe from water and things like that. So you put it in the garbage bag, you wrap it up, and then you put it in the box. So you're taking double care of that person's stuff. You put it in the garbage bag, and then you put it in the box. Now, if you just put it in a box, you know what I mean? Then Mickey James might not have tweeted about it. But if it was just in a box, maybe it got rained on or spilt something on, and it got stained and fucked up. So that would be less considerate. 
So to me, it's like the garbage bag is a sealant to protect it from anything while it's riding inside the box. My question is, how are you supposed to send someone stuff back? How do you send someone stuff back? That's what I want to know. What do you do? You can't send it in just a box because then there's no bag to protect it. Should you be wrapping it in plastics or something or playing around with their, their stuff? I, I don't know. How do you send it? Like, that's the fucking question. How do you send shit back? Purchase a backpack by the WWE, put it in a WWE, like, Future Endeavored fucking workout bag and then put it in a box? I don't know. So, I mean, dude, when I got fired uh, from work in the past, like, years and years, a long time ago, I got my shit put in a fucking bag, too. I don't know. I guess Mickey James is above everybody. I don't know. Maybe Mickey James should shut the fuck up! Maybe Mickey James' husband is a pussy who blocked me on Twitter and works for a company that's fucking dead with a meaningless title, who has a small dick. Maybe that's what's going on. Mickey Piggy James, huh? You fucking, you bimbo. Ever think about that, piggy pants, huh? Ever think that maybe you're not more special than everybody else? You fucking goddamn entitled rich fucking whore. I hope you fucking suck your NWA husband's dick and you get a fucking giant infection on your mouth from all the fucking other pussy he's been having, you stupid twat bag. Fuck you, Piggy James, and your fucking nasty twat and your big fucking lips, your fucking bimbo sucking salad tossing fired fucking good for nothing prego fucking cock smoker how about that i'll put you in a fucking trash bag and i'll mail you to fucking tijuana with a fucking temperature gauge in your fucking sphincter you goddamn fucking ring rat wannabe fucking garbage dumpster diving dipshit fucking tit fucking waving shaking mama milf licking fucking zipper fucking piece of shit How about that? Mickey James. Fucking Brian James, Road Dog. Why don't you two fuck, huh? You look like Road Dog's wife. God damn it, bro. Fucking coffee's kicking in, bro. There's only two things that gets me hyped. Donations and coffee. And it looks like the coffee's kicked in here. Uh, but yeah, man, it's too bad, man. I miss doing these every day. I miss doing all the stuff. But, you know, what goes up must come down. And uh, we're in the downtime now, brother. Let me tell you that. But last week, we kicked some fucking major ass. And you can't fucking kick ass every single week. Let me tell you. So, uh, you know, more, more might have to be done. We'll see what goes on. I may have to get fucking... I may take three jobs, motherfucker. Who, who the fuck knows? Um, you know, it could, it could be insane. I'll do whatever. Um, everything's falling apart everywhere. The whole fucking world's falling apart. COVID's falling apart. Every show is falling apart. Everything I'm doing and done is ever done. Dill fucking butt fuck before is ever done is falling apart. Everybody just comes here to the Joe Cronin show, gets their 30 or 50 friends. Then they go somewhere else to do it, to have more fun. And they just fucking take their little group and they go away and they take the little group and they go away. You got this little group goes away over here. You got this little group goes away over there. You got this little group goes away over here. You got fucking Leah, D Moon, and fucking JB and fucking Gallo Buttfuck and all the other Hispanics playing WoW somewhere, fucking laughing up a storm. So that content's going on over there for free, privately, because they're just friends. Then you got fucking this group over there fucking having a good time. Then you got this group over in a Skype somewhere. What the fuck? Oh, I don't want to monetize this anymore because the 15 of us jump in a weird Discord somewhere and play Jeopardy while we tongue fuck each other's assholes. Oh my God, bro. It's a fucking great time. That's what YouTube is, brother. Hey, I'm going to donate to Joe for a couple of months so I can grab 20 people and then start my own little club because I'm a lonely piece of shit. Um, hey, man, I know the deal. I get it. Motherfucker, I'm going to have a sip of this coffee right now. Mmm. Mm. Joe Cronin is the great uniter. Colonel Stutters, you might be right. I think I am a hub for unite for uniting people. Everybody that meet that hangs out with me eventually unites and finds their closest friends. 
I really believe that. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that makes me a... I don't know what that makes me. But I'm some kind of hub. I actually like it, the idea of this. Now, Jesse told me this seven years ago. On Monetize This 10, Jesse told me this years ago. He said, I don't know what it is about you, man, but you get people together and then they become, like, close friends and, like, you always bring people together. And I'm like, I, I agree, man. My whole life, I always bring people together. Uh, problem is, I bring them together, and they fucking, they don't stay with me, though, because they're like, uh, you know what, he's a piece of shit. Uh, Glorious Eugene just said, Joe, just gobble me like a dirty turkey. What the fuck, Glorious Eugene? <laughs> oh, that's not Glorious Eugene, that's Glorious 1.0. What's up, Glorious 1.0? I'll go, <laughs> There you go, I gobbled you, brother. There we go. you Jacob RP. He's finally... Where have you been, Jacob? What, have you been hiding under a fucking rock, you fucking cocksucker? Um, how are you, man? Joe gives the best head. Yeah, I mean, based on that, I mean, send that to any gay guys out there who like me, and um, I'll have a boyfriend tomorrow, okay? I'll have a... Look, it's like a point of view. <laughs> Make a video out of that, bro. Make a video out of that. Look at my neighbor, he's staring at me. Like, oh, fuck, I'll fucking go over there. Want me to go there and fuck him up right now? I'll be known as the neighborhood bully. I'll just go up to the neighbors. I'll just walk by the neighbors and be like, hey, what's up? Fucking, what's up with your fucking lawn sucking ass? And then they'll be like, haha, yeah, I'm just working on it. Yeah, I'm just working on it. <laughs> fucking loser. Fucking looking. I don't like you looking at you or your lawn or your fucking wife. Shut the fuck up. And then the guy's like, are you serious, dude? What the fuck are you doing? Are you doing it, dude? What the fuck are you doing? I'll fuck you up. Like, this is just like that. <laughs> oh my god, dude, that'd be. <laughs> and then he'd shoot me. <laughs> oh my god, dude, joke the local man dead today after he fucking starts a fight with his neighbor over lawn seed. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> that'd be cool if I got shot. That'd be actually kind of funny. Bring the Civil War to this pussy. Glorious, oh my god, fuck, you're a member, so you have a picture of Leah. I was like, why is there a picture of Leah? Uh, Mickey James, I'm, I'm kidding, Jacob, but you're going to be okay, bro? You know most of the shit I say is a joke, right? I mean, come on. You going to be all right? Fucking Jacob, you dumb fuck. You're a funny bastard, Jacob. Where you been, man? You fucking hiding out somewhere? Where were you Friday night, huh? Why don't you come on the show, you pussy? There was only fucking four or five people on Monetize This. You had a... You had a fucking clear shot at a, at a position on Monetize This the other night, and you weren't even here. You goddamn cocksucker. Were you trying to smuggle yourself back into the old land? Did you see the cycle shot his neighbors over snow? Yeah, we were, dude, we were, when that happened, we were talking about it on the air. I, unfortunately, I saw the video. Okay, so I heard the news story, and then I, I was watching, I watched that video, and I thought the video was fake. And then it dawned on me that, oh my God, this is that story that I heard about. And I heard there was a video about it. And then I just watched the video. But I thought the video was fake. I thought it was like a joke. And then I realized, wait, this is the real video of that story I read the other day. And it was fucked up, dude. That was the most fucked up thing I've ever seen. Like, And you can't believe the gall of the people that are killed. First of all, they had a kid. It's just terrible. Second of all, that guy obviously is a psycho who killed them, but also they were also scumbags, and they were like, you know, fuck you, like, I'll fuck you up, go ahead, and then he gets a gun, then he comes out with a gun, we already broke all this down in a video, but way back when it happened, we talked about it a long time ago, um, and it's like, they, um, he's like, oh, you got a gun now, what, are you gonna shoot us? It's like, yeah. He's going to shoot you, you fucking idiots. I don't know, man. I don't know if they could have... Maybe they could have gotten out of it. You know, when he came out with the gun, maybe they could have said, Hey, man, holy shit, don't take it to that level, man. I'm sorry, bro. L listen, like, fucking holy fuck, man. I'm sorry. Like, please don't, you know, don't hurt anybody. Well, we fucked up. You know, what are you doing? But instead they were like, Oh, yeah, you got a gun, you fucking cocksucker. Like, they were still fucking yelling at him, dude. <laughs> he's fucking, and he shoots at them, and they still keep yelling at him. That was the craziest thing. Pap, pap, and they missed him, right? Pap, pap, and they drist, and they missed the fucking guy. 
And um, it was like, then the guy's still yelling at him up, up until he actually gets shot. Because I almost think that they were shocked he shot, but then they went into like, oh, he fucking fired warning shots. They didn't think he missed, you know, or maybe they were warning shots. You know, maybe even he, I don't know yet. I don't know. I don't know if he shot warning shots to scare them to sort of say like, yeah, you didn't think I'd fucking shoot you? I will, motherfucker. You know, and then, and then when they still talk shit, he was like, okay, I am doing it. So it's almost like he was like, I want, I almost want to believe that he missed on purpose at first. Like, like, pup, pup, there's the warning shots, what do you think? And then they thought, well, fuck you still, you piece of shit. And then he was like, oh yeah, pup, 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 alright, now they're fucking gonna hit you. So I don't know if he missed on purpose, didn't get the reaction from them he wanted, then he decided fuck it and shot them for real. But it was horrific to watch, and I wish I never saw it. And then the guy, like, the guy just fucking, I don't know, the guy went full pussy way too late. He was like, oh, my God, I shot, oh, he, like, ran away, and it was fucking horrific sounding. I mean, for the type of tough guy he sounded like, he really turned into a pussy quick, and he left his wife in the middle of the road, which I thought was the craziest thing. It's like, he really didn't believe he could be shot, like, he was, and then until he was. It was so weird. It was the like this guy must have been the most entitled fuck his whole life. I'm assuming that that guy was the most entitled fuck his whole life to never believe that he could ever be shot or attacked or whatever. And he even was like, "Oh, fuck you up." I'm like, "Well, no, now you're shot." Obviously, he shouldn't have been shot. Nobody should be shot for talking shit. I don't believe that. I know there's some people out there that go, "Oh, it's what you get for talking shit or whatever." I mean, listen, if you're talking shit like those neighbors and you're being cunts like they were, I could even see the guy snapping and deciding to, like, drive his car into their car and smash their car into pieces. I could see a flip out like that. I could see taking a sledgehammer or, or a hammer, you know, and smashing in a window and being like, oh, yeah, fucking fix that, motherfucker. Now what, motherfucker? You know, I could see that. But just taking it to, like, I'm going to come out and kill you now. Like, that's never okay. Any comments that said, like, oh, like, they deserve... Nobody deserved that. Nobody deserved to be fucking shot and assassinated um, over stupid fucking shit. You know, just that... Absolutely not. Like, anybody who thinks that, like, is fucking... You're fucking crazy. Um, Even as cunty as those two people were. You know what I mean? Listen, if if they're that bad and you're going to flip out, you know, there's a million things you can do. Smoke bomb, stink bomb, call the cops on them, go have a fist fight if you really want to do that, you know, throw something at them, fucking grab a hammer and smash their car, like, there's a whole bunch of levels that you could get to before fucking, I'm gonna go inside and get my AR-15 and fucking assault and assassinate people, like, I mean, there's just a fucking, that's just bizarre, yo, Trey G, thanks for the two dollars, Trey, what's up, man, I do kind of remember you, what's going on, Trey, what's up? so weird, uh, more Ronaldo tonight, yeah, I'm kind of excited for that, Jake's doing all right, he's okay, uh, he's sore, tired, um, but Jake's gonna be, I think, all right, Gerald Armstrong said, um, what did Gerald Armstrong say, uh, fucking, the thing fucked up, hold on a second, let me go back here, let me see, let's see, Gerald Armstrong said, um, let me go back, Joe Ram says, need to get on that safe moon and AR an ART NFT. What's that? Gerald Armstrong, thanks for the dollar ninety nine. I don't know what the fuck that means though. Can someone tell me what that what that means? No idea what that means. Sup Joe, you can't help people anymore. Jokes can't be laughable. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I mean like people get butt hurt. It's crazy. Um how, hey Joe, did you know the Roman Reigns donation was played on a piano on YouTube? What are you talking about? No. Wait a minute. Which Roman Reigns donation? You gotta you gotta fix that for me and tell me what you're talking about. Um, it's crypto that's blowing up. Yeah, my crypto. Oh, crypto. I'll check it out. Yeah, but there's a lot of dump and pump and weird bad crypto things right now. 
my crypto is not doing so well. I mean, I, I, you know, my $200 turned into a thousand dollars. That's pretty good. But I mean, I don't know, bro. I'm in all kinds of problems or whatever. Hey, Joe, you're watching impact. Uh, I, I, I might, if I can, you know, if my, I, I don't know, I gotta be honest, my kids, um, I don't have much time to hang out with my kids anymore because of all the work. And this is the only day I have to watch a movie with the kids and Leah. So I may not see impact because I'm, I may be watching, um, every couple of weeks we've been, we were watching Harry Potter. We watched Harry Potter, the first movie it took us three weeks to watch the second movie. And now we were going to watch the third one and we're going to watch all of them. So, um, tonight we're going to watch three, um, with the whole family in, in the basement on, on the theater screen. So projector screen. So I don't think I'll watch impact tonight only because I just, I have no time to hang out with my family anymore and see my kids. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy about it, Brian, that I got a thousand from 200. I mean, that's pretty fucking awesome. Um, I just don't know if I should just dump it all and keep, get, get the thousand dollars out now and just, or if I should keep it for years and see what happens. I don't know. Maybe I'll take $500 out and just so I can have that. And then I'll leave 500 in forever and just see what happens. I, you know, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm going to watch Mortal Kombat. I think um, I couldn't get to it last night, obviously, because the show. And I was too tired afterwards. I went to bed. Um, it's weird because I could have stayed up last night because I was my day off. My 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 day off was today. Um, it switches between Sundays and Tuesdays usually. Um, they're different depending on what week it is. I don't really know the schedule 100, percent but it's whatever. Um, but uh. I could have stayed up and watched it last night. I just couldn't make it, so I went to sleep. But um, maybe tomorrow... I don't know. I can't watch it tomorrow because... So maybe I can watch it now. When I'm done with this stream, I could watch it. But I'm cleaning up. I gotta No, I can't because i got to clean up. I'm cleaning up the trash for the trash guy on Tuesday. And Monday, i got to work 8 o'clock until... I won't get home till 8 p.m. So 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Then i got to watch Raw. Then i got to review Raw. Then I... I guess I could watch it after all. I guess Monday night I could watch it after the review if I can make it staying awake. Because Tuesday I, I'm, I don't have anything. I don't have work, so. Um, uh, so, yeah, I, it's really hard to plan all this shit out now. I have no idea. Um, but that's why I haven't watched anything. So when people are like, why haven't you watched this? It's like, I have no time. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I think I like the Mortal... I, I like the... I'm always going to like the original Mortal Kombat. It was, you know, super cheesy and low budget back in the day. But it had charm to it in a weird way. So I like that. As long as the new Mortal Kombat isn't like the new Total Recall or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, whatever the fuck, with Johnny Depp, those two remakes are fucking disgusting to me. They're just terrible. Like, they, they're devoid of charm. They're devoid of character... Uh, and story, they're just garbage fuck, like, I would say Total Recall and the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, those remakes, yikes, bro, especially fucking Total Recall, the, the, those movies were just, I just thought they sucked completely, they had no charm and no charisma of the original, like, actors and, and, and that style, um, despite the fact that both, I think, were more based on the actual book, but, it just didn't work, man. I don't know. It's not my style. So I feel like this Mortal Kombat is a little bit more serious. It's got the cool stuff. It's trying to do it more of a serious tone and story. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if it's, as long as it's good in that way, then great. I don't think anything will ever have the charm of the original one, especially with the nostalgia that I'm into. Uh, yeah, Samoa Joe does deserve more respect, but, you know, whatever, I mean, whatever, uh, why don't you go break, uh, TJ's, uh, neck again, you know? The new Robocot sucks, too, yeah, I mean, I'm sure that sucks, too, yeah, that, make, that makes sense, it's very, very similar. I'm, de I'm, I'm definitely feeling that, no doubt about it. Bullfrog in his candy factory, very disturbing, yeah, that is, that is, that is, uh, pretty disturbing, yeah. Uh, we're thinking about uh, starting the campaign. Uh, he wants to come back. So Friday night, can you bring Bullfrog back to monetize this Friday night? Find out this Friday night. I'll monetize this. Plus, 
points in the bank. Points in the bank? And can we bring back Bullfrog Friday night? Kano will have... Kano will have you in tears. Oh, really? Huh. Joe, are you a fan of Kenny Omega? I don't see the hype in him. Jason, what's up, man? I like Kenny Omega. I really do. I, you know, I know the Jim Cornette stuff. He's got a valid point about his theatrics and his weird mannerisms. But aren't all wrestler, wrestlers theatrical? You know, you know, he talks about it like the theatrics of Kenny Omega and his weird, like, as he runs to the ropes and his weird gyrations in the ring and all the things that he does. But it's like, dude, Hulk Hogan had that. You know, Hulk Hogan had the, like, what you gotta do, and I'm gonna do this and that, I'm gonna wave my hand, and, and even in the ring, you know, he'd point, and he'd do things, and it was like, okay, well, I mean, what's the diff? like, I don't, I guess that's like, isn't that the same thing? Um, you know, I mean, you know who didn't have the theatrics like that was kind of like Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels kind of just went in and performed this wrestling match, you know, so, yeah, I don't think Kenny Omega's the greatest thing ever, but I think he's athletic, he sells a lot of times for the most part. He's, he's okay to me. Like, I think he would be a great, like middle top middle card guy in, in a, in a WWE. If WWE was thriving, if WWE is thriving, you know, Kenny Omega could be a top guy, like a Ricky, the dragon steamboat or a, you know, macho man or something like that in the middle card of a company. But I don't know, man, I, I like Kenny Omega, but you know, sometimes the selling is weird, and I don't like some of the stuff, but, and, and he does have that, like, fucking weird, fucking fairy mentality in the ring sometimes, but, I don't know, man, that, part of that is his, kind of his character in a way, you know, that, that Japanese style is mixing in a little bit with his own personality, and it gives him a character in a way, so I don't, I don't guess I don't mind it as much as Jim Cornette, but I do think that sometimes he is overhyped. Yeah, I think some people overhype him, and I think some people overhate him. I think he's a solid seven point five or whatever. Like he's Shawn Michaels is better. Um, I don't know. So if you know if Shawn Michaels isn't considered to be Hulk Hogan, Stone Cold at the box office, and The Rock at the box office, you know, I would consider, you know, Shawn Michaels, a, you know, an A, an, a, an A minus or a B, although Shawn is my favorite wrestler of all time, but, you know, when you're talking about popularity and wrestling style ability, you know, I would say that Kenny Omega doesn't have the character of The Rock, Bret Hart, Stone Cold, Triple H, mm -hmm. Kenny Omega doesn't have that character, he's like a C plus, or, or a B minus, probably a C plus. Kenny Omega is about a C plus with his character, if you know whatever. And on the mic, you know, it's it's like it's like a C plus, if that, you know, not even. But 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 you know, he's a really good in the. He's really intense in the ring. He's really pretty good in the ring. So you know, he gets like a B there. And so, again, I think that's where he lies. He's a fucking seven five out of ten or a seven eight out of ten all time. Seven like he's in a seven eight out of ten right now. He's he's a, he's more of a top guy. He's more of a B plus, you know. But overall, all time, he's like a B minus, or you know something like that. I don't know. So I think Kenny Omega is really good. It's just that he's not he's not the savior or something like that, and he's not terrible either. He's you know somewhere somewhere in the middle. Uh, he entertains me more than Seth Rollins in the ring truth, so that's a good point, I mean, Seth Rollins is really good too, but Seth Rollins now has, has his developed style, where he does the same moves in a certain way, and you know, Kenny does too, see, sometimes Seth Rollins now is too planned out what he's doing, and sometimes Kenny Omega is too um, similar, his matches are similar, you know, it, a lot of guys are like this, a lot, of, a lot of guys to me right now are 7 out of 10s, everybody's like a fucking 7 out of 10. That's the problem. Nobody's hitting that 8 or 9. You know, no one's hitting that 8 or 9. Everyone's a 7. Or a 6 or 5. You know, nobody's a fucking... You know, like, goddamn... Back in the day, dude, Greg the Hammer Valentine wasn't entertaining to me as a kid. I mean, really, not really. 
you know, I was like, yeah, Greg the Hammer Valentine, all right, he kind of looks old, he's all tubby, weird, and whatever, dude, Greg the Hammer Valentine's matches are more entertaining now than, like, half the fucking people you see, it's like, that's, I watch him now, I'm like, wow, that guy's way more entertaining, and he's like a slab of shit, you know, it's weird, but that's how bad everything is now, fucking terrible. Piper, arguably the greatest heel of all time. That's true, Mr. Pico Boulevard. If you say greatest heel of all time, you're talking about Piper, Vince McMahon, um, you know, I mean, Stone Cold had that at first, but, you know, he really got over his face, so, you know, Piper may be the greatest heel of all time, yeah. Vince McMahon, Roddy Piper, uh, who else? Who's who's a great heel other than that? There's, there's, there's a bunch of people who are, who are, I don't know why I'm stopping on that. Dude, I'm... St- Ric Flair was so good at WrestleMania 8. I love WrestleMania 8. I still love it. Triple H was a good heel. Yeah, that's a good point. Triple H is a good heel. Um, Edge was a pretty good heel. Yeah, that's true. Edge was a pretty good heel. Rick Rude was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, Jeff Jarrett was pretty good. Uh, Shawn Michaels was a good heel. Kind of. Bret Hart, I think, was really good. I think he's underrated as, during his heel run. I think Bret Hart's heel run, which was only about nine months long, Bret Hart, or maybe a year, Bret Hart's heel run was fucking awesome. I don't, I know people shit on him, but I mean, he was great as a heel. As, as a face, Bret Hart was boring, kind of. You know, I only liked him because I was a kid, and Bret Hart was like, you know, what well, am I going to go out there? You know, and you're like, hell yeah, Bret the Hitman Hart, dun, 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 and you get fired up, bro. You're like, here comes Bret Hart. Yeah. But, dude, when he ran on that heel, that heel run he had, Ted DiBiase, I don't think anybody said him yet. Ted DiBiase was a good heel. Um, I mean, Yokozuna was one. I mean, Yoko didn't say a word. You know, he just kind of stood there and went, Banzai. Um, I would say that Bret Hart, you know, was, was a good heel. Well, because, because uh, America is a big toilet... And you're all really just a bunch of greedy kids, the scumbags. That's why me and my brother are happy to be from Canada where they love people. Vince McMahon, the boy toy. You're, it's like that shit was great. Brett was a face internationally while being a heel in America. Um, yeah, nobody else. Could, that's I don't ever remember any. That will never happen again, dude. You know what's crazy is for the people that didn't watch at that time, there's you have to go on YouTube to look at it. Monday night, they're in USA. The crowd is chanting, Canada sucks. And they're cheering for Stone Cold and booing Bret Hart. The next week, they're in Canada. And the crowd is chanting, the USA sucks. And they're hating Stone Cold and they're cheering for Bret Hart. And the UK was cheering for Bret Hart and booing America. It was so fucking crazy, dude. You guys remember that? Canadian flags fucking filled the arenas in Canada. Um, and honestly, from what I remember, Canada was more angry at America than anything. The Americans were more cheering for Stone Cold. But Canada was like shitting on America. It was weird. It was like America wanted to cheer for the heel of Stone Cold. But Canada was also being healed by being so shitty to America. It was like both crowds wanted to be heels. It was so fucking crazy. We don't talk enough about that time. And even at that time, I remember I hated Canada. I was actually angry at Canadians. I was like, fuck those people. And so, like, dude, that they they were able to do that to us was amazing. That was an amazing fucking time. It was like, what, three months? Three months of insanity. And the WWE purposely booked Raw in Canada like several times. And then in America. And then in Canada. And then in America. And it was like, we'll never see that again. I don't think. You'll ever see anything like that again. The the crowds were insane. And you have to go back and watch. You have to type in like Bret Hart heel. uh, Stone Cold. And like they put the Patriot with Stone Cold and was so weird, man. It was such a fucking crazy thing. Um, you know, Stone Cold would go to would cut a promo in Canada, they'd be throwing trash at him. Bret Hart would come out, they would cheer him. 
Then the next night they'd be in America and the crowd would cheer Stone Cold and they'd throw stuff at Brett. And then Brett would be more of a heel. Like it was insane. <laughs> what a fucking awesome time it was, dude. And I got those on VHS still. But anyway, my time is running out here as I've been in here for about an hour with you guys. And um, I had a good time in here. I don't think so, Jay. Not right now, at least. I may be. I may be uh, doing something later. Uh, check out Patreon, I guess. Uh, we're we're at three hundred patrons almost. Brett pushing Vince down was the first time I saw him touched. Yeah, that was the first time Vince was touched, which was kind of crazy. Stone Cold stunning him though to me was nuts. Uh, what up, Big Mark? Brett screwed Brett. Sir Cardinal Raid. What up, Sonic Boom? Sonic Boom 717? Is that like a triple, uh, <laughs> Scotty? Is that Scott, or did he rip off Sonic Boom? What up, Sir Cardinal? Holy shit, dude, Sir Cardinal Raid. What's up, Cardinal? How you doing, brother? Dude, Sir Cardinal and me go way back seven years, brother. Right now, I'm listening to the, to the hockey game, so that's cool. The Red Sox are on. That's cool. Uh, Celtics lost. That sucks. Maybe Cardinal was watching with the Celtics or one of the basketball games. What's up, Cardinal? What's up, brother? What's up, Brittany? What's up, No Life? What's up, Sonic Boom? 76ers fan. What's up, Sixers? How you doing, man? What happened to the Celtics today? What the... Come on, man! The Celtics are a mess. What up, Jacob Ivan? Aaron Costa, what's up? Thanks, man. Appreciate the sub. How long have you worn that, that shell necklace? Uh, for too long. What's up, Jay Money? What's up? Kansas City got the, uh, yeah, well, they, they won a Super Bowl, right? You know, they were the last to win a Super Bowl before the Patriots, so we got, we're fucked, you know what I mean? What up, Jimmy Joyce? Bruins are still nothing, nothing. Yeah, still no score in the hockey game. Um, Jason Michael, what's up, Jason? I don't know if that's even real, but, you know, hey, whatever. What up, Duke? What up to Sir Cardinal, man? What's up, man? Man, I remember when me and Sir Cardinal used to hang out back in the day, and he didn't have a YouTube channel yet. Sir Cardinal was just, he was just watching my streams, and we were hanging out all the time. And then he started a, started his uh, channel and, you know, spent months just messing around with different stuff. And eventually, Sir Cardinal found something that worked for him, and he started kicking ass. And um, now he's really successful. It's crazy. Because I remember him, he really did everything almost on his own. He didn't. Sir Cardinal never even asked me for anything. He just figured out his own thing. It's crazy. So you got to give uh, Sir Cardinal a lot of credit for that. It's fucking amazing, man. He fucking did it. He, he And he wanted to do it, too. When I used to do the wrestling streams, you know what I mean? He used to be like, man, I want to do this. And he did it. He just went and did it. He just fucking killed it. Uh, what up, Devante? What's going on, man? Uh, Sir from the Six, what up? Good to see you, man. You're still alive. Good. What up? Sir from the Six, Sir Cardinal. Kisses, baby. Thank you so much for that raid, man. What's been up? Yo. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that, dude. Um, Y'all should collaborate. Yeah, we should. I mean, me and Cardinal, I have less time than ever now, man, with everything fucking going on. But um, Cardinal, hit me up if you want to do something. We should do something. Uh, Joe, you seen Impact pay-per-view? Yeah, I'm not watching Impact only because... Um, Tonight, um, I only got a little while to hang out with my kids and, and my wife tonight, so, what up, Six, Sir Cardinal? What game are you watching, by the way? I didn't see it. I didn't see you go live earlier. What game are you watching, Cardinal? Because I, uh, I had the Red Sox on, I was looking up the Celtic stuff, and I got the hockey game on now, so, I don't know what games you were watching, but I was keeping an eye on uh, New York and 76ers earlier. Nets and Suns, Okay. Man, remember back in the day? I remember back in the day um, when I really watched a lot of NBA. And the NBA on NBC was like a must thing, a must see for me. And I mean, I loved hockey too, but dude, when they played that fucking. The Chicago Bulls versus the Suns. Like, I, dude, I got fired up for that shit back in the day. I got super fired up. Scotty Pippen, Michael Jordan, Dennis Rodman, Tony Kukoc, Steve Kerr, and everybody else that was on the team. I mean, dude, that shit was fire. 
I mean, I was a Celtics fan. Obviously, I'm from Boston, but it's like I was. Everyone was a Chicago fan, you know. And I was probably 11 or 12, so you know, I just was like, I'm, I'm watching this fucking game. Suns versus Nets, nice. Haven't seen Mortal Kombat yet. I watched the first seven minutes. I just haven't watched it yet. Probably tonight or tomorrow night. I'm looking forward to it though. Marv Albert wore the pants. Yeah, Marv Albert was great. He was like one of the first people to be canceled, right? Remember Marv Albert? He got canceled for what? Because he like ate panties or something? Why the hell did that happen? Uh, Foster the Gamer says, is Mark Carano's wife hot? I don't, you know, I don't know. She looked like, she looked pretty good for him, right? Mm -hmm. She looks like the type of woman that like, okay, yeah, he has money, so he got her. Like it, but it, you know, but he obviously doesn't have enough money. That's probably why allegedly he was hiding belts under his bedroom. Or whatever. The list goes on and on. What up, 76ers? It was 93, dude, says Big Mark. Was it? Shit, I don't know. Fuck, maybe I was 11. Yeah, I was 11. Oh, no, I was 9. I was 9. Smash or pass? Um, I would say smash if you're drunk. If you had a couple of beers, you'd smash. Oh, you'd, you'd, you'd... Don't spend your life with her, but you'd smash her, you know? If you look like Carano, you'd smash her, you know? I don't know. Who you got, Swan or Omega? Um, man, I think Omega's going to win. Because because we think that Omega's going to collect all these titles, kind of like how Matt Hardy did that quest for the gold or all that bullshit. So we really think that that's how it's going to go again, you know? So if that's the case, then that's, that's what we're in for, it looks like. Uh, Zach McNulty, what's up, man? Yeah, I was going to end the stream like five minutes ago, but then, <laughs> dude, right as I was going to end the stream, Cardinal came in here with a raid, and so we had to fucking hang out for a few extra. Uh, but go back and watch it if you're into wrestling. Yankees would have won three World Series this decade if not for the Astros and Red Sox. Yeah, that's maybe true, possibly. Pretty happy about the Red Sox, man. I still can't, even, dude, I'll never, 2004 when the Red Sox won, dude, I've, I'll never feel. I never forget feeling like we're never gonna win for like twenty something years. For twenty years, feeling like we're never gonna win. Like this fucking, we're just never gonna win. It's never gonna happen. Um, and then all of a sudden, having that taken away, like going that that feeling going away. So, um, yeah, Callum Keith, uh, Expedition of Gold. Hey, Joe Cronin Show. Did you get a MLB the Show? I did. I did get it on Xbox. I might play it tonight. Maybe. Maybe if I do a little Sunday night gaming. But that depends on um, if if, if we all watch, if me and my family watch a movie tonight, and then at like 10 p.m. every it's over, and then the kids are falling asleep, you know, maybe I'll jump on for a little bit of Sunday gaming, and I'll play a little MLB. I don't know. It's really matter though. What's up, Nessa? Timberwolves, Vikings, Twins, um, Wild. Yeah, that. Well, your Minnesota, your building's gonna be burning, Minnesota. Joe live stream the Oscars. Oh my God, Jesus! Those are on tonight, right? Remember the guy who donated yesterday? The Oscars are tomorrow. Impact is on Telemundo at three a.m. Jesus, really? Jesus, three a.m. Telemundo. What up, Beard Gang? What up to that guy's wife? Holy shit! Oh, la, la, la. Holy fuck! Dark Side of the Ring Confidential is is uh, is the new program. I like that. Yeah, I might, I might play some PUBG, too. I miss that shit. I miss that shit. Dude, I'll walk that... The guy goes, that guy's walking his dog. Dude, I'll walk that guy's fucking wife. Do you see her? Holy shit, bro. I'll walk his wife. Um, I saw that chick in the back. Yeah, I saw her, too. Jesus. Hey, now. And this proves men are sick. See how this works? Uh, keep Enzo away. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Um, thank you guys for everybody who jumped on Patreon. We just hit 300 patrons. So thank you guys for that. Um, <clears throat> and thanks to everybody who was on Corrupted last night. We had a good time. We did a big pre-show. Obviously, it wasn't really a pre-show. It was like, <clears throat> it was like we did our UFC review slash pre-show. And then did an hour of Corrupted. So if you missed it, it's up in audio form already on Patreon. Now you can download it to your phone, save your data plan, and have a good time. <clears throat> and a not sick, just horny. Yeah. That's why there's so many people all fucked up. Anyway, uh, leave a like, leave a comment. Thanks to everybody who super chatted during this stream, man, and um, gave me a couple bucks. Appreciate that. 
And uh, thanks for supporting the channel, man. If you became a patron, thank you for supporting the channel and, and what we do. Um, and, uh, yeah, have a good uh, rest of the day, everybody. And, um, yeah, we'll see you later, man. Thank you, guys. Keep it hard. Keep it wet. Keep it, keep it whoopee. Keep it whoopee. Why? Keep it whoopee.